Have you noticed your legs feeling weaker lately, even though you're eating what you think is healthy? Maybe you've experienced those painful nighttime leg cramps that wake you up, or you find yourself avoiding stairs because your legs just don't feel strong anymore. Here's something that might shock you. The problem might not be your age at all. It could be specific vitamin deficiencies that are literally draining the strength from your legs right now. And the worst part? Most seniors have no idea this is happening. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which seven vitamins your legs desperately need to stay strong, mobile, and cramp-free. This isn't just about comfort. This is about maintaining your independence and quality of life. But before we dive in, let me tell you about the biggest mistake seniors make when it comes to leg health, and it's probably not what you think. Now, I want to be completely transparent with you. Everything I'm sharing today is backed by scientific research and clinical studies. I've spent countless hours reviewing the latest findings from leading medical journals because I understand how important this is. After age 60, your body goes through significant changes in how it absorbs and uses nutrients. Studies show that over 70% of seniors are deficient in at least one critical vitamin for leg health, and many don't even know it. I get it. It's frustrating when you're doing everything right, eating your vegetables, staying somewhat active, and yet your legs still feel weak or crampy. That's why this information is so crucial. Now here's where it gets really interesting. What I'm about to share with you goes against what many people assume about leg weakness. Most folks think it's just a normal part of aging, something you have to accept. But recent research has completely overturned that idea. Scientists have discovered that targeted vitamin supplementation can actually reverse many of these symptoms. We're going to count down from number seven to number one, and trust me, you'll want to stick around for number one because it's the most powerful of all. Wait until you hear what researchers at major universities discovered about number seven on our list. It's absolutely shocking how many seniors are deficient in this one. Number seven is vitamin E. Now, you might be thinking, isn't that just for skin health? Not even close. Vitamin E is a powerful antioxidant that protects your muscle cells from oxidative damage. As we age, our muscles are exposed to more free radicals, which basically attack and weaken muscle tissue. Here's what happens. When you're deficient in vitamin E, your leg muscles can't repair themselves properly after daily activities. This leads to progressive weakness, especially in your calves and thighs. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that seniors with adequate vitamin E levels had significantly better muscle strength and endurance compared to those who were deficient. The recommended daily amount is about 15 milligrams. You can get this from almonds, sunflower seeds, spinach, and avocados. But here's the kicker. Cooking and processing can destroy vitamin E, so raw or lightly cooked sources are best. But the most shocking part is coming up with number six. Number six is vitamin B12, and this one is absolutely critical. Listen carefully because this affects millions of seniors. After age 60, your stomach produces less of something called intrinsic factor, which you need to absorb B12. This means even if you're eating B12-rich foods, your body might not be absorbing it properly. Here's why this matters for your legs. B12 is essential for nerve function. Without enough of it, the nerves that control your leg muscles start to deteriorate. This can cause weakness, numbness, tingling, and difficulty walking. I'm talking about real, measurable muscle wasting. Studies show that up to 40% of seniors are deficient in B12. The signs can be subtle at first, maybe you notice your balance isn't as good, or your legs feel heavy when you walk. You need about 2.4 micrograms daily. The best sources are meat, fish, eggs, and dairy. But many seniors need supplements because of that absorption issue I mentioned. This next one will absolutely blow your mind. In fact, when I first learned this, I couldn't believe how many people are walking around deficient in it. Number five is vitamin D. And here's something most people don't realize. It's not just about bone health. 
Vitamin D receptors are found directly in your muscle tissue. When you don't have enough vitamin D, your muscles literally can't function at full capacity. A groundbreaking study from the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology found that seniors with low vitamin D had a 30% higher risk of muscle weakness and falling. Think about that. Your fall risk goes up by nearly a third just from this one deficiency. Here's what's happening at the cellular level. Vitamin D helps your muscles contract and relax properly. Without it, you get muscle weakness, especially in the large muscles of your legs and hips. This is why so many seniors with low vitamin D complain about difficulty getting up from chairs or climbing stairs. You need at least 600 to 800 international units daily, but many experts now recommend 1,000 to 2,000 IU for seniors. The challenge? Very few foods contain significant vitamin D. Fatty fish like salmon, fortified milk, and egg yolks have some, but most seniors need supplementation, especially if you live in northern climates or don't get much sun exposure. Here's the kicker that most doctors won't tell you about number four. Number four is vitamin K, specifically vitamin K2. Now you might have heard about vitamin K1 for blood clotting, but K2 is different and absolutely crucial for leg strength. Here's the fascinating science. Vitamin K2 directs calcium to your bones and keeps it out of your soft tissues and arteries. When you're deficient, calcium can actually deposit in your muscles instead of your bones, causing muscle stiffness and weakness. A study in the journal Osteoporosis International showed that seniors with higher K2 levels had better muscle function and fewer leg cramps. K2 also works synergistically with vitamin D, meaning they enhance each other's effects. You need about 90 to 120 micrograms daily. The best sources are fermented foods like natto, sauerkraut, and certain cheeses, but these aren't common in most American diets. Egg yolks and grass-fed butter also contain K2. Many seniors are unknowingly deficient because they avoid high-fat foods that contain this vitamin. Now, before we get to the most important ones, let me explain why the next one on our list is so often overlooked. You're going to want to remember this next part. Number three is vitamin B6, and this is where people make huge mistakes. B6 is involved in over 100 enzyme reactions in your body, many of which are critical for muscle function and nerve health. Here's what happens when you're deficient. Your body can't properly metabolize proteins to build and repair muscle. Your nerves don't communicate efficiently with your muscles, and you're more likely to experience muscle cramps and spasms. Research published in the Journal of Nutrition showed that low B6 levels were directly associated with reduced muscle strength in older adults. You need about 1.7 milligrams daily if you're over 50. Good sources include chickpeas, bananas, chicken breast, and potatoes with skin. But here's the problem. Certain medications that many seniors take, including diuretics and some drugs for acid reflux, can deplete your B6 levels. But wait, there's something even more critical that recent studies revealed about number two. Number two is magnesium. And I'm going to tell you why this might be the most immediately impactful vitamin on this entire list for leg cramps. Are you experiencing nighttime leg cramps? Charlie horses that wake you up in pain? There's a very high chance you're magnesium deficient. Here's the science. Magnesium is absolutely essential for proper muscle contraction and relaxation. When levels are low, your muscles can contract, but they struggle to relax. This leads to cramping, spasms, and that horrible locked-up feeling in your calves. A clinical trial in the journal Magnesium Research found that magnesium supplementation reduced the frequency of leg cramps by over 40% in just four weeks. Think about that. Four weeks to potentially cut your cramping episodes nearly in half. Magnesium also helps your body use calcium properly regulates nerve signals to muscles, and supports energy production in muscle cells. You need about 320 to 420 milligrams daily, depending on your gender. 
The best sources are pumpkin seeds, spinach, black beans, almonds, and dark chocolate. Yes, dark chocolate. But here's the catch. Things like caffeine, alcohol, and stress deplete magnesium. Many common medications do too, including some blood pressure drugs and diuretics. What I'm about to reveal at number one literally changes everything. This one alone could transform your leg health and mobility. Number one is vitamin B1, also called thiamine, and here's why it's the most important. Thiamine is absolutely critical for converting the food you eat into energy that your muscles can use. Without adequate B1, your leg muscles literally run out of fuel. A deficiency leads to a condition called beriberi, which causes severe muscle weakness, particularly in the legs. Now, full-blown beriberi is rare in developed countries, but subclinical thiamine deficiency is incredibly common in seniors and often goes completely undiagnosed. Studies estimate that up to 30% of seniors admitted to hospitals are thiamine deficient. The symptoms? Leg weakness, muscle wasting, difficulty walking, and fatigue. Sound familiar? Here's what makes thiamine so crucial. Your body can't store it for long periods. You need a constant supply from your diet, and many things deplete it rapidly, including alcohol, diuretics, which millions of seniors take for blood pressure or heart conditions, and even drinking too much tea or coffee. Thiamine is also easily destroyed by heat and processing, so refined grains that many people eat have had most of their thiamine removed. This is where most people make a deadly mistake. They assume they're getting enough thiamine from their diet, but they're not accounting for medications or lifestyle factors that are draining it away. You need about 1.1 to 1.2 milligrams daily. The best sources are whole grains, fortified cereals, pork, legumes, and nutritional yeast. But if you're taking diuretics or have any of the symptoms I mentioned, you might need significantly more, and you should talk to your doctor about testing your levels. Coming up next, the one thing you absolutely must know before you start supplementing. Now that you know which vitamins are crucial, here's what you need to understand about taking them effectively. First, timing matters. Fat-soluble vitamins like D, E, and K should be taken with a meal that contains some fat for better absorption. Water-soluble vitamins like the B vitamins and magnesium can be taken anytime, but some people find B vitamins energizing, so morning might be better. Second, some vitamins work better together. Vitamin D enhances magnesium absorption. Vitamin K2 and D work synergistically. But some combinations can interfere with each other, so spacing them out or taking a well-formulated multivitamin designed for seniors can help. But before we continue, here's a shocking statistic that will change how you approach this. Studies show that even with supplementation, if you have gut health issues, you might not be absorbing these vitamins properly. Things like low stomach acid, which is extremely common in seniors, can reduce absorption of B12 and other nutrients. If you've been supplementing but not seeing results, this could be why. You might need sublingual B12, higher doses of vitamin D, or even shots of B12 from your doctor. The next item on this list might surprise you, but it's about what not to do. Don't just rush out and buy random supplements without a plan. Here's why. More is not always better. Some vitamins, particularly the fat-soluble ones like D, E, and K, can build up in your body. Too much vitamin E can increase bleeding risk, especially if you're on blood thinners. Excessive vitamin D can cause calcium levels to rise too high. This is why working with your doctor to test your levels first is so important. Get a blood test that checks your vitamin D, B12, and magnesium levels at minimum. Many doctors don't routinely test thiamine or K2, but you can ask about it, especially if you have symptoms. Now here's the game changer. This is the one thing that ties everything together. You need to address the root causes of why you became deficient in the first place. 
Are you on medications that deplete these vitamins? Talk to your doctor about whether you need to supplement. Is your diet lacking in nutrient-dense foods? Focus on whole foods first, supplements second. Do you have digestive issues? Address those because they affect absorption. Are you getting enough sunlight for vitamin D production? Many seniors don't go outside enough, especially in winter months. Wait, don't skip ahead. This next part is crucial for making everything work. You need to give this time. Your body didn't become deficient overnight, and it won't replenish overnight either. Some vitamins like magnesium might show benefits within a few weeks. Others like vitamin D can take two to three months to build up to optimal levels. B12 can take even longer if you've been severely deficient. Be patient and consistent. Take your vitamins daily. Don't skip days thinking you'll catch up later because that's not how it works. You're almost there, but the best is yet to come. Here's the practical implementation strategy. Start by making a simple chart or using a pill organizer. List out which vitamins you're taking, what dose and when. Set a daily reminder on your phone if you need to. Keep your supplements visible, maybe next to your coffee maker or toothbrush, somewhere you'll see them every day. Consider taking them at the same time daily to build a habit. If swallowing pills is difficult, many vitamins come in liquid or gummy forms now. Just check that gummy vitamins have the full dose you need because sometimes they don't. And now, for the most important one, the action plan you should start tomorrow. First thing tomorrow morning, schedule an appointment with your doctor to discuss your symptoms and request appropriate blood work. While you're waiting for that appointment, start keeping a symptom journal. Note when your legs feel weak, when you get cramps, how far you can walk, whether stairs are difficult. This gives you baseline data to compare against as you start supplementing. Second, audit your current diet. Are you eating foods rich in these seven vitamins? Where are the gaps? Third, research quality supplement brands. Look for third-party testing certifications like USP or NSF. These ensure what's on the label is actually in the bottle. Fourth, start with food first. Increase your intake of nutrient-dense whole foods. Add more fatty fish for vitamin D and B12. Eat more leafy greens for magnesium and vitamin K. Include nuts and seeds for vitamin E and magnesium. Choose whole grains over refined ones for B vitamins. Before I let you go, there's one more thing you need to know to make this work. This isn't just about taking pills and hoping for the best. Your leg strength depends on a combination of factors. Proper nutrition, yes, but also movement. Even with optimal vitamin levels, if you're completely sedentary, your muscles will still weaken. You don't need to run marathons. Simple activities like walking, gentle leg exercises, or even chair exercises can help. The vitamins give your muscles the tools they need, but movement is the signal that tells your body to maintain and build that muscle tissue. So remember, these seven vitamins, vitamin E, B12, D, K2, B6, magnesium, and B1, can have a profound impact on your leg strength, mobility, and freedom from cramps. Start by getting tested to identify your specific deficiencies. Then work with your doctor to develop a supplementation plan tailored to your needs. Focus on nutrient-dense whole foods as your foundation. Be consistent and patient. And combine proper nutrition with regular movement, even if it's just gentle activity. Your future self will thank you. And here's something you need to know. In my next video, I'm exposing the hidden dangers of common foods that are secretly draining calcium from your bones right now. This affects millions of seniors, and most have no idea it's happening. It's even more critical than what we covered today because it's actively working against everything you're doing to stay healthy. If you want to see that video and get more science-backed health advice specifically for seniors, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. Your mobility, your independence, and your quality of life are worth fighting for. Stay strong, stay mobile, and I'll see you in the next one.